Who goes there? Hello. Welcome to our home. This is Billy. Should we let him in? Yes or no? No? Well, what are we going to do for the rest of the afternoon? We have to show him our house. Come on. Welcome everybody. This, oh, look at this. This is, this is how I found it. He was a boy. We had a box and there was a pink Have Mercy and a blue Have Mercy. And the blue one was on top. And that's a, you don't have to take your shirt off. <coughs> I, I should have learned. The kids will always upstage you. Where's mom? Okay, I'll tell you, but didn't you want, they want you to talk about the house, by the way. Are you directing this? I'm just curious. Well, this is, I would say this is my first adult home. This is the first house that I really feel that it just, it's just, it's, it's me. It's an adult version of me. I wanted a house that I could put my feet up on and have people over. I mean, this couch has been here 13 years. Don't ask any questions of it. But everything is just, you know, sturdy and funky and cool, like me. I don't know a lot about decorating. And I had this friend of mine who worked on Full House. She was an assistant to the director. And then she became a, a very famous um, designer. I was like, Chris, could you help me do this? And since she knew me so well, I had her. Chris, yes. she's here too. I remember when you did everything and I walked in here, I just started crying. She was I like, love stay it when away. And it, cry. But it was, it just felt like me. It just felt like home. I felt safe. You know, it felt like a safe, warm environment. And I just love it. I'm glad. It's so, um, pliable, I guess, right? Like malleable, adaptable. adaptable for anything that I've gone, you know, through in my life. Bachelor, I moved in, I was a bachelor, and it was very much a swing bachelor place. Then I got married, which I got married here. Yeah, and it it's been a, a great, beautiful <laughs> wedding. But we ended up turning this bachelor pad more into a couple place, and I made him get rid of a lot of the naked lady pictures that were around. But I let him keep a couple of Art, them. it's art, it's people. So, so for the wedding, we moved all this exact furniture out to the backyard and it became an outdoor living space where we had the dinner in here where the dining room is and here it was all filled with friends and family and God, it was just the best night. We met seven years ago on the set of um, SVU, but then we started the text, remember? And it was like, hey, let's try to do pizza on Sunday if you want. Never a bad day for pizza. Oh, okay, this is all very exciting. Then I said, hey, you wanna go to Disney? I knew the two things, she loved pizza and she loved Disney World. So yeah, he knew how to lure me in. We were gonna wait till after the baby was born, but then she was like, I think we should get married in a couple weeks. I'm like, Ugh. you know. And then she planned the wedding in two weeks. I'm always trying to get him to sing to me. Is that a cue? Well, I taught you how to play piano, right? Yes. And she's gonna play it for you and sing it for you right now. Sorry, but let's see the bedrooms. <laughs> this, this is a, 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 um, a mug shot back in the day he got, in tr he got arrested for hitting on, on someone's wife, another man's wife. I mentioned once to Tom Hanks that I was like, it'd be cool to have a typewriter, and then this showed up in my house. Famous Stamos, you are here. If you need a tutorial to use this machine, I will come by. We should have had Tom come over today. Today would have been a good time. He gives a whole tutorial on here. I sent him back a thank you note on this, and it was a mess. It was like, Wah. So this is our bedroom. Right when Caitlin and I met is when I had these terrible designers come in and ruin the house. And this was one of the first things Caitlin fixed. So even before the terrible designers came in, this was a brown shag carpet with a giant brown bean bag. Yeah, so? Here. So it was hard to get worse. <laughs> we got these and, and three others out there. These are from an old barn, right? Uh, and we, in Italy. We, uh, well, we bought these in New Orleans. If you look closely, they're like little cherubs. Yeah, they're from an old home in Italy. We heard they were taken off the walls of some like 17th or 18th century. They're probably stolen from the house and then sold at this antique store eventually in New Orleans, but we absolutely adore them. By the way, like usually there's 8,000 things on her side <laughs> yeah. no, and then nothing on mine. Also, it's gonna look like a baby does not live in this house. But a baby does. A baby does live in this house and it normally looks like just a baby lives in this house. We cleaned up for you like a first date. Another favorite part of this bedroom is our view to the valley. And even just this cute little patio we have outside. Many mornings, especially now with Billy, we wake up and we'll just lay in bed here and we'll look out there and we'll just think about how grateful we are and how lucky we are and what a beautiful life we have. I always tell people it feels like we're like Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs living up here. It's such a fairy tale hideaway. 
Oh, and before we leave the bedroom, how about this beautiful detail in this door? Throughout this house, there's a lot of amazing wood detail, and this is one of them. So this is another wood detail I'd love to point out to you. I very much appreciate this kind of work, the detail and the time, the effort that it took. But we have a lot, a lot of fun personal things in our bookshelf here. What about this? Look at this. Mm -hmm. Caitlin and John, 1-3-16. Gosh, I'm romantic. And uh, 1-31-16, that is the anniversary of our first date which was a, I thought, was a pizza party here at his house, uh, but nobody else came. It was a party. <laughs> we love this wall, and we spend a lot of time staring at it. Uh, uh -huh. We're both big old Hollywood fans, but he's actually got to meet most of them. Uh, I got to hang with Sinatra a little bit. I work with Sammy Davis Jr. on General Hospital. That's me and my mom at Disneyland. And now we have our entire lives together yeah. on these guys. We watch it more than we do TV, I think. The most important thing here is, is this picture of my dad. And this, this was a letter that he wrote. He said, life isn't very long, and a man doesn't have many great moments. But you've given me many. I just love this. Uh, another one of my favorite wood details here is the painting up on the ceiling in this one panel, and I hadn't seen it for the first like year I was living here. I finally looked up and went, oh, this is pretty cool. I painted that. <laughs> when we host dinners here, and we have other friends or family over, this is where we do it. These are three more of the wood panels that we got in New Orleans, which are really cool. The table was older, but I loved it. And this centerpiece is all Chris Barish. And the person who loves it the most is our son, Billy. He cannot pass by without waving hello. And he gets upset when I take him away from them too fast. It's really adorable to see. He's so obsessed with these heads. So it looks like not a lot of cooking happens in here. It's pretty perfect at the moment, but we do a lot of cooking. We never go out. <laughs> so, and John's a very good cook. Oh, I think I just woke up our son. Totally my fault. So anyway, we like to cook in here. It's a full house cooking thing. It's an empty house. Empty house. <laughs> empty. Let's go outside. So this is our backyard. This pool was here, obviously, when I moved in, and it's super deep. It was grandfathered in. I, don't, I think they can't be this deep now. And I put the jacuzzi in, too. I like to show people, like, oh, go check out the pool, go check it out, and then boom. Yeah. Look in there real fast. Look in there. Very funny. Stand over it. Very funny. Stand over it. I like this dress. Come on, stand over there. <laughs> we have uh, lemons in the front and kumquats and lime trees and a whole vegetable garden. We love growing our own food, and our son loves eating them. Every morning, as well, I have a routine with Billy now. We come out, and then I take a kumquat, and we peel it, and we eat it. Then we walk this way. We sit under here. And we both do a little quiet meditation. And Billy loves to see these little people in there. You'd think that they'd scare him, but he loves these little guys. He likes to say good morning and good night to these guys. Hi. <laughs> it's the best. Here's the pizza oven. This is where our first date happened, right? Yes. And I don't think the pizza... Well, first of all, he was bragging about how he made the best pizza in the world. And that night, uh, I think it was like some old dough or something. It just didn't... It was old dough. It, it didn't quite work out the way he wanted to. <laughs> this is where we like to eat the pizza. We have a lot of pool parties and barbecues, pizza parties, and it's our favorite place. It's fat. I mean, this place went from like, you know, a bachelor pad, it was a certain, you know, clientele, to last weekend, just babies everywhere. <laughs> but it's beautiful. It's, that's what I always dreamed of, being in my backyard, you know? <laughs> What? This is our vegetable garden. So tomatoes and carrots, a couple kinds of beets, and what else do we have over there? A bird. A bird, yes. Yeah. Pretty, right? It's nice. This is where I live now. <laughs> He's been kicked out of the house since Billy has taken over. This is the beginning of some um, of my Disney collection, which I normally don't, I'm not really shown on TV, but you guys are special, so. This is the party room for me, anyway. <laughs> here's some of the carpet she was talking about. Yes, that I this had. was also in his bedroom. Yeah, but it plays great here. Originally, this was a studio. I mean, we still play live in here, but I recorded in here, too, so we just sort of padded the walls. This is what, where I hide out now. This is where he lives. Yeah, uh, these are some guitars. A lot of these are guitars from Full House that I used on Full House. This was given to me on my 50th birthday. This is from the Haunted Mansion. 
This is really special. I bet you you don't even know about this. I didn't this know about the guitar. This is my first drum set that I ever got. I didn't know that. Tony the Tiger. I must have been like five or something. Probably you know, a little bit. every once in a while, Saturday night, you know, I get a little frisky. <laughs> and she says, you do an E and I'll do Priscilla, and, you know. That's, that's never happened. This is a Can Can girl from It's a Small World. Caitlin thinks it's weird and I, I called the president of the time of Disneyland, I said, if you have any, you know, stuff laying around from the from Small World, I'd love to have you. He said, well, what's your favorite character? Can Can Girl. Can Can Girl? And this showed up. And this is a from the original pirate ride, which is... Wearing my scarf. <laughs> is that your scarf? Yes. Look at this. Here's a letter from our president of the United States. He says, John, your performance in Cabaret was fantastic. I hope uh, you're getting all the accolades you deserve. Every time I've seen him since, he's like, I sent you that letter, right? No one else sent you a letter but me, right? I'm like, no, no, all the people sent me letters, but thank you. Want to see my big D? Oh my goodness. Ta-da! I have the whole sign, but I just put the D up here. So we were, are both lifelong Disney fans. For me, it started because my dad worked for Disney when I was very, very young. And so it's always been a, held a magical place in my heart. This is the first thing I bought. It was eBay had just started, and it, one of the first things they were auctioning up a sign, and Michael Jackson wanted it. It was a whole deal. And I put in the first bid, not thinking that I'd win. Called my business manager, like, I think I'm going to win this big sign. And each letter is 14 by 9 feet, and <laughs> it lights up at night. It's very pretty. This is from Disney World. This is from Snow, Snow White. White. And Grumpy. It's like Grumpy. Which? <laughs> One of the seven dwarfs who lives here with us. Is that me? <laughs> you know, Disney, Disney like when, when I first started collecting stuff or saying that I was, you know, infatuated with Disneyland, it, it was sort of a geeky thing. And now it's hip, right? I mean, it's gotten cooler. <laughs> I did it once with Ryan Gosling and he geeked out on Disney stuff. I was like, okay, you know what? Now it's cool. So. Yeah, if he's doing it, it's cool now. Bye, Adi. Thank you for coming over and invading my privacy. And um, <laughs> thank you. Mwah. Bye bye. Bye.